guys, sorry I didn't have a chance to get up a video for you guys yesterday. It was pretty hectic. But um, in replacement of that, I guess I'm going to be doing one this weekend instead. And then obviously all the rest of next, uh, next week like normal. Anyway, just uh, some quick things I just wanted to talk about today was just some uh, goal shifting and talking about how to set goals for powerlifting. I feel like a lot of people get upset when they don't end up hitting a PR right away because honestly, most people think to themselves, oh, like after I hit um, two plates on the bench press, for example, uh, the next thing that matters is three plates. And if they don't make it there within their next strength cycle, and I'm obviously I'm trending a little bit more toward the beginner intermediate lifter than anything else, but you see a lot of them end up getting upset. So I like breaking things up into short term, medium, and then obviously long term type goals. For short term goals, this goes for me, and I think it should go for anyone else. Is honestly any sort of improvement you should be happy with. Um, so that could whether that's five more pounds and a one rep max or um, hitting one more rep for a rep PR at a certain weight. Any sort of sign of progression is a good thing, so don't be upset or discouraged if it's less than you thought it was gonna be. Sometimes you could be just having an off day and you could actually have more in the tank, but honestly, any improvement's improvement, you know what I mean? So as long as you're trending on that path, you're gonna keep uh, upping your numbers. I'm a big believer in intermediate goals though because I feel like let's say your training cycle goes really well and you gain you end up gaining more than five pounds on a one rep max or something like that. <clears throat> it's uh, nice to have a little little something to reach for. So as an example right now um, I'll use deadlift as an example. Um, I've been hovering around uh, the 620 mark for a while for deadlift and I haven't attempted a max uh, like a one rep max for deadlift probably in seven or eight months now maybe a little bit longer even and this next uh strength cycle is going to be the last one i'm going to be doing before i eventually peak right after that and then attempt my new one rep max so that the uh obviously my short-term goal for the deadlift in that case would be uh 625 pounds and then my reach goal would be probably 635 because that's uh, six plates and a 25 on each side. So it's nice to have those little markers in between just to keep you motivated. And then obviously you want those long-term goals. So um, the next big milestone for me for deadlift, for example, would be um, probably seven plates. For um, bench, it would probably be either 450 or 455 as an intermediate goal. So that's either 450 pounds, so you just round it off at 50, or 455, which would be um, just four plates and a 25, that would be awesome. Or with squats, it would probably just be, uh, probably just 600 flat would be the next uh, media, media milestone. And then the long-term ones are uh, like the next plate up or the next 100 pounds. But in my opinion, those are the ways you should break up your goals. Don't be upset if you don't hit some of those big ones right away. Every, all progression ends up slowing down at one point. Every lifter starts having diminishing returns. You just have to be able to adjust for that either with more volume or a little bit more variation and something that you may be a little bit weak in now, which is something I'm gonna talk a little bit more about next week as far as why being weak in some lifts is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, you should look at it as a blessing at some points. Let me go over my personal goals real quick. The, at least my, medio, my medium ones. Um, so the next bench I'm hopefully looking to hit is probably somewhere in the area between 440 and 450. That'd be awesome. Um, for deadlift, uh, 635 and for squat, 600. And just as a caveat to the rest of this, I also want to have 19 inch arms by the end of the year. That would be awesome. And next week, I know we talked a little bit about um, I had to get bigger arms video last week, but I'm going to break break it a little more down in depth as to how I'm actually planning on implementing it. That way, if any of you guys want to give a shot as to what I'm going to be doing, you guys can follow along. If not, whatever. But I think it would be kind of a fun thing to, um, I guess, have something with people that people could follow along on, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but that's all I have for today. In the meantime, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next week.